studying plants doesn't have to be hard work. If there is a time-consuming part of someone's research, it makes sense to figure out how that task can be automated. My name is Michael Tross, and I'm a third-year graduate student in the Sustainable Lab at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. I employ computational tools, um, genetic algorithms, and deep learning to study and better understand plants. There is a need for interdisciplinary collaboration. And what my research does is that it allows for this interdisciplinary research to solve biological questions. This study shows how bridging the disciplinary divide can actually solve real world biological problems. So I was the lead author of this study and my specific role was to conduct a genome association study to look at the genes that control leaf angle in sorghum. We set out to test whether we could make automatic measurements of leaf angles fast enough and accurate enough so that we could come up with a method that replaces hand measurements by humans in genetic studies. Leaf angle is a very important trait for plant breeders in developing new and higher yielding crop varieties by increasing photosynthetic efficiency when lots of plants are packed in the same field. However, measuring leaf angle is slow, labor intensive, and it usually has lots of human error. So this means breeders usually don't select for a leaf angle directly, but instead indirectly by selecting for its impact on high planting densities. We think that indirect selection makes breeding less efficient, that the breeders could easily do direct selection. We grew more than 300 plants in an automated greenhouse that moves plants around on a conveyor belt. And every two days, it photographs each plant from several different angles. We then use a voxel carving algorithm to reconstruct the 3D structure from 2D photos. And then after that, we fit a 3D skeleton to the structure of the plant and use that skeleton to measure the angles of individual leaves in 3D space. We use those leaf angles combined with information of hundreds of thousands of genetic markers distributed across the sorghum genome to identify places where genetic markers and measured leaf angles were linked. This would indicate that genetic marker was close to a gene controlling variation in the angle of the leaves of the different sorghum plants. So we were able to identify a gene that people already know is involved in controlling leaf angle in sorghum, which is called dwarf 3 and also we were able to find some new regions that haven't been linked to leaf angle in sorghum before, but which are near genes that make sense based off of what is known about their functions in other plant species. So our study shows that it's, it really may be possible to start automating slow and time intensive processes, such as measuring leaf angles by hand. This could speed up the development of more efficient and productive sorghum varieties in the future. So we will recommend using 3D geometries from 2D images to quantify leaf angle in a high throughput manner. This method does not require specialized equipment such as depth camera or lighter sensors and is scalable to large population. It is also proven effective in identifying both known and novel loci in the sorghum genome that contributes to variation in overall leaf angle and angle of individual leaves. So future research in this area should focus on utilizing the ability to have data from multiple time points. Apart from increased accuracy in the trait quantification, the ability to track the same leaves across different time points will be beneficial in determining whether genes play different roles in leaf angle variation across different growth stages of a plant. It may be possible that the angles of different leaves are determined by different genes. If this is in fact the case, then it allows for more flexibility in engineering the architecture of sorghum plant canopies.